Coming out of that mission last week, we went back and we brought 70 persons from 40 companies. Wow. Yes, and that spanned various sectors, construction, technology, training, research, a couple of exporters. And what we sought to do is expose them to the opportunities at the highest levels. So we were able to have delegation meetings with the vice president of Guyana, the minister of finance, the minister of labor, the minister of public works, and the minister of tourism, industry, and commerce. Guyana is the hottest business destination in the Caribbean right now, and Jampro has been leading trade missions there and other countries in the world. So how can you be a part of this? Well, I'm Kalila Reynolds, and it's time for another episode of Money Moves JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service, giving you the tools to grow your business. Our guest today is Shulette Cox. She's the acting president of Jampro. Hi, Shalette. Welcome to Money Moves JA. Hi, good morning. Good to be here. So tell me all about this trade mission to Guyana. Yes. All right. So last year, as you know, the Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce, we got a new minister, Senator the Honorable Aubin Hill. And he came in very strong about exports. And so coming out of that, one of the things that he is leading um, is various missions to different countries. So in October, he went to Guyana. He brought about 20 companies, uh, just around 35 persons, to start exploring what the opportunities are in Guyana. As you know, they've found a lot of oil in mm -hmm. Guyana. Their um, economy grew by almost 50% last year. So that offers a lot of opportunities for Jamaicans. Coming out of that mission last week, we went back and we brought 70 persons from 40 companies. Wow. Yes, and that spanned various sectors, construction, technology, training, research, a couple of exporters. And what we sought to do is expose them to the opportunities at the highest levels. So we were able to have delegation meetings with the vice president of Guyana, the Minister of Finance, the Minister of Labor, the Minister of Public Works, and the Minister of Tourism, Industry, and Commerce. And they really laid out for the delegation what the opportunities were that they could take advantage of. So tell me what those opportunities are, because like you mentioned, Guyana found a lot of oil, their economy is expanding rapidly. Mm -hmm. And some people may think that, well, if I'm not in oil or energy in those industries, there's nothing for me there. So what is happening in Guyana now is a lot of infrastructure work. Mm. And with that infrastructure work, a lot of major contracts are being given out. And while most of those are already in place, they're looking for a lot of subcontractors. So people that can do maybe a part of a road, maybe a part of a bridge, different things. One big opportunity that the Minister of Public Works spoke about is the demand for aggregates. They need 6 million tons of aggregate to supply the construction work they're doing. What is aggregate? That's like um, mall and the different inputs into construction for road works and that sort of thing. And what do we have here? We have limestone. We have limestone and that's, that's the biggest part of what we have to offer because we do have a number of com companies that can supply that. Uh, they also had very good meetings on the technology side because one of the things with Guyana is that their technology infrastructure is not as developed as Jamaica. So we took companies that do software development, cyber security, infrastructure work, and some of those companies have actually come away with strong opportunities. One company actually signed a client while we were in Guyana last week, and another company one that is focused on engineering works for construction actually registered his new company in Guyana last week. So a lot of opportunities have been realized already and a whole lot more to be realized. I would say easily half of the delegation have already bought tickets to go back to Guyana to continue wow. discussions that started. That's amazing. Yes. So how often do you take these trade missions? So as I said, we've only just begun. Uh, looking at the different countries where 
people are interested in going, we're thinking of doing maybe about four or five for the rest of this year. Trinidad, definitely, Dominican Republic. Then we're also looking at South USA, so maybe Miami, Atlanta, as well as New York, Washington, and then Canada and the UK. Other countries such as Colombia are also being looked at. So we're at that initial research stage to identify what are the opportunities in these various countries and what companies should we be targeting? Mm -hmm. Because even though we call it a trade mission, it actually does cover both exports and investments. And so when we go into a market, we would want to have companies that we are, that are exporting or can export to those countries, but also persons that are looking for investment opportunities. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So I'm listening to this. I'm watching this. I'm thinking this is an amazing opportunity. How does a business get the opportunity to participate in the mission? How do you get chosen to go on that mission? <laughs> so that, that's a beautiful part. It's not it's not a selection process. It's not being chosen. What we did for the Guyana mission, which we will continue to do, is partner very strongly with industry associations. So we did a general mail out to the PSOJ and all of its subgroups that it has under, under that body. We reached out directly to like the Jamaica Developers Association because we were targeting construction. JMEA. The, cha the Chamber of Commerce and the JMEA is one of our biggest partners yeah. because right Since now targeting we're targeting exports. Exactly. And not only that, the Expo Jamaica 2023 is coming up at the end of April. And Jampro is their business partner for buyer recruitment. So we are working with them to get buyers coming out of each of these markets coming into the Expo for April. So JMEA, yes, is a very big partner as well as the Chamber of Commerce. You see, well, I'm and always this telling you guys that you need to join professional organizations. That's how you learn about opportunities like this. And I cannot forget the Jamaica Technology and Digital Alliance, which is our technology association and the Global Services Association of Jamaica. Uh, the other thing is for this mission to Guyana, we did a think tank at the beginning and started to put out press about the fact that we're going so that people who are not a part of the associations would hear about it and reach out. And we did have a couple of people that said, hey, we saw an article about this, we want to join and they were able to join us. So how does it work? Do you fund your own participation or does the ministry cover that? No, so everybody funds their own participation, their accommodation and their travel. What the ministry covers is the meetings and the space that we have to get for business to business discussions. Because that's another thing I, I don't think I mentioned enough of is that we work with partners in the country to identify companies that we can have B2B meetings with, with our delegation members. So if I want to be a part of the next one, how do I do so? People watching um, can email us at info at jamprocourt.com. That's our general email address or call us at Jampro to indicate your interest or contact the ministry. Either way, you'll get into our database and once we know where we're going and when, we'll start sending out the communication. Info at jamprocorp.com. Awesome. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing what comes out of these missions. Sure. Thank you. And thank you for having me again. Here's a recap of Shalette's key points. 70 persons from 40 companies returned to Jamaica from Jampro's recent trade mission to Guyana. The various sectors stemmed from construction, technology, training, research and export. Six million tons of aggregates are needed to supply the construction sector in Guyana. That's it for this episode of Money Moves JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service, giving you the tools to grow your business. Visit their website at eximbankja.com and visit my website at kalilareynolds.com for a summary of this episode. I'm Kalila Reynolds. Till next time.